So, as you can probably tell by the title of this video, I've seen the first four episodes of House of the Dragon Season 2. As you can imagine, I can't go into much detail, so no spoilers from me, but what I wanted to do today is give you guys my general thoughts about the episodes, so let's just do that. Let's start with the pacing of the episodes. A lot of people were worried about Season 2 being reduced to 8 episodes, how things may get rushed now, but I can assure you that this is not the case. Season 2 only having 8 episodes does not hurt the story at all. If anything, it makes it better. It's much slower. Because of that, it feels more similar to the earlier seasons of Game of Thrones. It's less hectic, with a lot of small council meetings and people plotting. The political intrigue is one of the things I've always loved the most about the earlier seasons of the original show. And it's where I think House of the Dragon is also at its best. The actions of our characters are really allowed to breathe now and really sink in with us as viewers. It's not as fast paced anymore, there's not as much action as there was in season one, you know, where every episode seemed to have to have this moment of like, there's this big shocking moment that's not there anymore. There are, of course, shocking moments, it's still a song of ice and fire, but it's just slower and therefore more rewarding in my opinion. Episode 1 in particular does a fantastic job at building up momentum. The suspense that is built during the episode is just out of this world, but you'll soon see for yourself just 4 more days now. Moving on, let's talk about some of the incredible performances. My absolute highlights were Tom Glynn, Carney and Emma Darcy. Let's start with Aegon. I just did not expect House of the Dragon to really shine on him as a complex and layered character after they made him such a horrible person in season 1 from the get-go. Not to say that I didn't think there was potential with Aegon, it's on me really. I just honestly thought that we were just going to get a Diet Coke Joffrey in the show. But man, was I wrong and I'll gladly eat my words. I love all of Aegon's scenes. One thing that makes A Song of Ice and Fire such a great series is the complexity of its characters. They're all capable of doing horrible things, but you can still admire them as characters. You get the idea, Euron and Theon Greyjoy, Jaime Lannister, those characters. House of the Dragon's Aegon fits into this category and I'm so glad that they've put more focus on him. It'll also just make that whole discourse that we have so much better. HBO declared that all must choose and uh, yeah, they've backed it up. This, this makes sense now. Still, I'm always gonna be neutral. Some of you might have seen my tweets from earlier this week where I compared Emma Darcy's Rhaenyra to Michelle Fairley's Catelyn or Lena Headey's Cersei and I still absolutely stand behind that. I've seen four episodes now, I only saw two when I tweeted that and I still absolutely 100% believe that. I think it's just that good. Rhaenyra carries one of my absolute favorite scenes of the entire show so far. There's just so much range when it comes to Emma's acting. Again, I've only seen four episodes, but this performance deserves all the Emmys that Michelle Fairley, Lena Headey, Alfie Allen and Patty Considine never received. Speaking about performances, I also want to highlight Sonoya Mizuno as a standout performance. They've made some adjustments that really prove beneficial to her character. I wanted more from Mizaria's character in season 1 and I got that and more in season 2. Also, while I can't say anything about them, you will really enjoy the new cast members. One in particular is just bound to become a fan favorite character, but we'll talk about it when I'm allowed to talk about it and when it actually airs. The next thing I want to talk about is the improved visuals of the show. The dragons look so much better and I guess it's never a surprise that, you know, they always up their level when it comes to to how things look. Game of Thrones obviously got better and better and better with every season and that's the same here with House of the Dragon. Every location looks bigger, there's more of it. Especially Dragonstone is just so much bigger and we see more of both familiar and new locations. All in all, while I can't give a detailed rating, I've really enjoyed the new episodes. If you've liked House of the Dragon so far, you will continue to do so. I don't agree with everything I've seen and I'm curious to see where some of the storylines are headed, but the good heavily outweighs the bad. Like season 1, there are definitely a few changes that were made from Fire and Blood. I personally don't mind that if it's done like with Viserys in the first season. They've shown that they can flesh out the material and even improve it in some cases. That's definitely the case with this season too, even if I personally don't agree with every creative choice that was made. I imagine some choices will be quite controversial. 
especially due to the nature of the internet nowadays. I can only say that as a book reader who previously had problems with the adaptation of George R. R. Martin's original work, I liked the new episodes. What I really appreciated the most was that it feels like the writers listened to the feedback. Certain adjustments were made and we spent more time with a variety of the cast now. Season 1 showed that people were there for the complexity. I've said it countless times that that was one of the most valuable lessons for all future Song of Ice and Fire adaptations. We don't need to see huge battles in every episode. Most of us want to watch a show about layer characters we can invest in, and in that aspect, House of the Dragon Season 2 improved drastically. Every change that was made from the source material was made to add more drama and therefore offer more potential for future character development and storytelling. The changes were not made to add shock value, which was something Game of Thrones would oftentimes do in the later seasons. You can definitely feel that the writers deeply care about the characters, and a lot of things were added that especially book readers will really love. I'm really happy with what I got. It's been years since I got to watch back-to-back -back episodes, let alone four episodes, which was crazy. You know, we've been doing this weekly since forever. I just wanted to say a big thank you to both HBO and Sky Germany for making this possible. Sadly, I think that is all I can talk about today. I can't wait to go back and rewatch the episodes when they air and really collect my thoughts. Until then, you can catch me on the Grease Goblins channel for a live stream this Saturday. We will do weekly live streams in general, right after the episodes. As always, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Apart from the live streams, there's going to be weekly reviews, podcast episodes, and as always, I'll do my best to involve you guys in interviews with the House of the Dragon cast. But more on that soon. Thanks for watching, and see us later.